All right, Captains, it is time for the French Navy's Tier 6 cruiser, Le Galissonier, aka the Gasoline, a nickname that is quite appropriate as the Gasoline excels at setting her enemies ablaze. As you're seeing from this first highlight reel, from my very first game in the gas, which was basically stock with no range and no concealment. But there's enough in that stock ship to earn Witherer from the start. Now, of course, spamming HE can get you by, but as usual, when it's time to AP, AP the crap out of enemy cruisers left, right, and center. Now, despite what you're seeing, I didn't have the best of luck with the AP in this ship as I found her shells to be a little floaty. So when she started to engage targets beyond 10 kilometers, the AP for me really dropped off. I'm sure maybe some captains will have better luck at the 10 plus kilometer AP sit the Delling range, but not I. For me, I usually had to have the guy say, knock himself into an island and then proceed to sit right up three times before he dies. <laughs> and the second and most important reason is because the Galissonier is fragile, uber, uber fragile. Broadsides, of course, is always a paddle in when you're facing two Fusos. But even when you are angled, that butt citadel is just prime for the wrecking from any and all comers. Ouch. Like Galissonier go boom. Le <laughs> boom. Now the gas course is armed with torpedoes, two tubes per side. I'd have a decent reload rate and they are nine kilometers, which means you can reach out and tickle someone. But with only two, I found it very difficult and few and far between to land these guys without also dying in the process <laughs> to earn flesh wounds. You know, like this Cleveland here, he thought he was gonna get some and he did punch me in the face really hard, but I just chewed into that broadside with that AP at those ranges. Watch my torpedoes, try to get my front guns, unfortunately not able to train on a little target, but I was able to take down that Cleveland with the flesh wound. <laughs> and that happened actually more often than that with me and my torpedo land. There's very, very few instances in which I just straight up landed torpedoes and were able to just run away and hide. <laughs> I always ended up dying, but what are you gonna do? In the French cruiser, like Allison J. Now, while I have definitely enjoyed my time in the gas, I would have to rate her as my fifth favorite cruiser of all tier sixes thus far behind the Bajani, the Cleveland, the Grass Bay, and the Leander. I'm doing some great damage numbers with her as you're seeing in these games. I had about 13 games selected for this episode with only three of them in which I was top tier. And yet the gas is able to pay me back with some healthy damage numbers. But in any case, Captains, I do have a replay picked out for you that will definitely highlight some of the goods, some of the bads, and definitely some of the lucky. <laughs> so without further ado, let's roll right into the replay. And that replay sees us top tier on the map ring. This is, like I said, this was one of the three games in which I was actually top tier. So let's see how we do. All right, well, for my captain skills, I got preventative maintenance, keep my stuff a working expert marksman to turn my turrets a wee bit faster. You could maybe go for a last stand or even adrenaline rush at the moment because the turrets actually do turn quite nicely. Demolition experts for more fires. You all the gasoline, you need to burn stuff down. And concealment expert, which only drops down your concealment to around 11.4 kilometers, which is not the greatest, mind you, but I think it is better to have it than not. In my modules and upgrades, you can see she's fully kitted out, including the rudder shift mod to turn and shimmy shake a little bit more better, premium consumables, and for my flags, I am running the XP for both commanders and basic XP to try to get onto the Algier. Ooh. But you can always run the ones for fires and speeds for sure. All right, well, we do have enemy and friendly sky camps in this game, so I'm gonna kind of mosey on over towards the west side from my western spawn. We're gonna go on to the D cap, we'll see. I do have the defensive fire. Instead of the hydroacoustic search, you have one of the slowest reloads rate. Actually, I think it is the slowest besides the Graf's Bay, which doesn't count because they're battleship guns, but the gasoline has the slowest reload rate of them all, so adrenaline rush would definitely be nice because, like I said, with the AMA, you do take a lot of punches in the ribs, which means adrenaline rush would be be nice. 
So, I, but in any case, I don't run the hydro because the anti DDing with that slow reload is a little hinky. It's a little dicey. So I like to shoot down aircraft. You know me, captains, nom nom nom, swatting down those enemy planes left, right, and center, if I can. So, all right, well. Here we go. What do we got going on down here? There is a little inker smoke down yonder on the south side of that island over there. So we know there's at least one of the enemy DDs is over here. And the other enemy DD on my map, thank you all for reminding me to put the little blinkers on my map. He is there on the A side. So one on either side. Our Gata is activating the cap and trying to hold it. And I am putting shots down onto this Cleveland, definitely. He is done turned in and gone bow on. That could be a tough one. He may have to turn right and not himself into the island, which would be very nice. That means we can just unload and mercifully. Oh, and there it is. That's a hot auto. Excellent. So he keeps him in my mind's eye to get some shots on him. 2100 to open up my bank account. Nice, nice, nice. A couple of penetrations and an overpens, breakages and whatnot. So sweet. I am okay with that. All right, all right, a little pink just some more. Ooh, there's a whole lot of red orange down yonder. Little Byron's getting some lots of love in Nuremberg's, Cleveland's, Congers, Congos, and a couple other boys. So, all right, all right, let's see if we can put down this Cleveland. That'd be nice. I know our sky cancer would like that. We all know those Clevelands like to swat planes left, right. Oh, come on, keep going, keep going. I want to try to keep hanging with my Byron. It is a dangerous game because I don't have my my speed boost activated yet, so I'm just kind of trudging along at around 30 knots at the moment. And oh, there's the Hatsaharu. Now the French cruisers have a bit of a floaty gun to them, like uh, almost American-esque, so not definitely the Russian style. Oh, Byron, what are you doing, dude? We got an island right here. This Byron is turning out and I don't want to do that. And yeah, my island indicator's going, but I am able to lob my hot lead action over the island and onto this hot Saharu raining fire from above. Come on, come on. A couple of penetrations. Oh, and look at that. Yep, we have done. Come to a stop, hit the reverse. Luckily, there's an island between all of us, and so I am actually not detected. And oh my goodness gracious, I just took down a whole crap ton of modules and a lot of hurting. He's not moving. He's thinking like, what the heck is going on? I got natives shooting at me from the tree line or what? No, oh, it's the gasoline <laughs> lobbing my shells from above. Oh, Sky Cancer, enemy torpedoes. Come on, can we take down this Hasaharu before he disappears in the ether? I know our gate is keeping him illuminated because he is within the two kilometer range there. So I need to put him down. Oh, 1,452. Left him with just under 500. Yeah, he is alive. He's shooting at somebody. Come on, come on. Can we take him down for the kill? And splish. Oh, 99 points of damage. 99. Come on, come on. All I got to do is get by him. Just hit, knock down one of the trees and pop him on the head. Go, oh, swing and a miss. And oh, crap balls. Well, Aoba, friendly Aoba took him down. But oh my goodness, look at that. Congo, Koenig, Gasoline, Duke. Queen Elizabeth Nuremberg, my oh my, there is a lot of angry red ships down there. I mean, definitely we have a good fleet over here, but oh, we got one battleship way over yonder on the A cap. He is probably going to be DD food here, if not carrier food. So, all right, I need to start moseying on back, maybe to the A cap. Hopefully, I mean, it's basically main fleet on main fleet. So I will definitely take some parting shots and on this furry taco for sure. But I got to keep a mind's eye. Oh, that Congo done nostered himself into the island, but I can't reach out and tickle him or burn him. But, oh, oh, only 700 on that furry taco. But I got to be careful. Head on a swivel. I don't go for the, uh, I forget what that one is, where you go, oh, oh, module knocked out his guns, where it tells you how many people are aiming at you. But I got to believe all those battleships, all four of them are looking in their mind's eye at a gasoline and say, yes, I can pop that thing. <laughs> so I got to be careful. Shimmy shaking. Speed boost is now engaged. Now watch my little knot ticker just climb, climb, climb. So up to around 35, I think 35.4 knots, I think is the max maximum speed so if you do run the speed flag i think that can boost it up to around 37 or 38 oh and i got a fire on the taco excellente queen elizabeth is done gone reversing so let's put some fires onto her deck please please this please and he's gas yeah, she's getting some love from some torpedo boats as well too from the torpedo squadrons at least so oh, oh no fires come on come on oh if that torpedo hits yes there you go torpedo hits so Brought out his damage control, maybe for a flood. So in about five to 10 seconds for the Queen Elizabeth, I should be able to light her butt on fire and let it stick for about 50 seconds or so. That'd be nice. And I think our fire actually on the furry taco has stuck. He is still burning down. My, yeah, my damage counter is still ticking. Come on, tick, tock, tick, tock. 
Your time is done on the clock. Excellent. The fairy taco is down. Gall- Gallus and Yair. Queen Elizabeth still. And she is moving forward. Okay, I'm trying to peek over the island. You don't get a plane on this ship, uh, which I, I would really wish you could. Uh, I would love to get a spider aircraft, of course, to bump out my range just a wee bit further so I could see over these islands. Oh, only 400, 450. All right, well, definitely, yeah. So, oh, yep, yep, yep. Now, if looking back on the map, you saw those little torps that reminded me. There is a little ink cloud as well, too. So, their Gata looked like it took down our big uglies. So, we have no ships left on this A side, which is nasty because, oh, I am detected hard copy. So, that DD is probably right in front of me, between me and his little ink smoke. There he is. Scumbag, oh, fire. <laughs> fire my front guns. Look at that. Six and a half kilometers away. Nice. Dispersion. 3,000 points of damage and a fire fire the punk guns and they split the splash of course of course come on put this guy down i gotta guarantee there's some propeters coming i lost another fire 27 home points of damage another thousand before he disappears behind the island yeah oh two fires on him and it's they're burning they're burning they're burning he's still burning Oh, maybe he'll die. Maybe he'll die. I got skinny because I got to believe some torpedoes are going to be coming my way. I am detected. Oh, I have now disappeared into the ether. Come on, Gata, die. Just die already. Now, I'm getting nervous because I, I don't know where he went. I, I don't know if he came to a stop and it's going to launch some fish at me because this is dangerous. You don't want to round the island on these DDs if you know they got fish in the tubes and they, yeah, they put the he put the fires out and he's still alive. I don't have the little red ribbon indicator so he's still alive and he's hurt. A wounded animal. Wounded gator. Got to be careful. So I'm swinging out a little wide to hopefully get an eye on these torpedoes before they get too close and just punch a couple of big old holes in my side. But I definitely want to go chase him down. We have guys on the south side of that Long Island that might be able to do a bit, bit of a Zulu pincher maneuver. Little horns. Oh, there's the Iron Duke. Oh, that's that's a tough one. He's probably going to be spamming the high explosives. So let's see. Maybe I might be able to get some some torpedo action on him. But I still got to worry about that Gata, man. I'm, I'm just nervous right now. I'm waiting to just see the little torpedo indicator or his little butt pop up on the on my screen but oh where is he where is he nine kilometer torpedoes now I only get two per side so i'm not the most accurate with this thing you know i am illuminated there is the gata quick turn turn turn, turn. fire 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 boom boom <laughs> good night gator Bop, goes the gata all right now i gotta get skinny because i gotta believe some torpedoes were maybe coming out of this guy Oh, but that, well, maybe that gives me, yeah, okay, that's going to give me a chance, opportunity at least to launch my starboard set onto this Iron Duke and set four angry triangles of fury towards his position. But I got to worry because that Queen Elizabeth can, well, okay, she can't detect me now, but she will soon enough. I got to be careful about that ship, Iron Duke. I don't think my first set's going to make it because Iron Duke, even though he's a slow bugger, got on the gas just a wee bit, and so that probably is going to throw out that solution. But I can slow up and maybe lay some hot lead into him, bring out some damage controls and repair parties, maybe, maybe, maybe. But that second set, that second set might actually get him. One of those might, but uh, I'm playing a dangerous game. I guarantee my... In- oh, yeah, that Queen Elizabeth in the background. You can see those little <laughs> turrets are looking at me. Mine, mine. <laughs> oh, and a bink. Bink, bink. Oh, 13, almost 14,000 points of damage on the Tokus. Caused some flooding. Knocked out his rudder. And, yeah, he is flooding. Excellent. Oh, it looks like he's going to probably flood out by going boom to those torpedoes, maybe. Oh, oh, that would have been a nice slam dunk onto that Queen Elizabeth, who definitely has some shots on my paws, but no fires on that set. And no fires on that one. And oh, crap, there comes a Congo. Now, I was thinking of holding up shop and trying to cap out this A cap, and I probably should have. I probably should have just stopped right here. But I saw that shooting solution was, was full speed ahead. That Congo's a fast ship. She's basically a fast cruiser. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that would have been tight. That would have been tight. I probably could have been able to cap out this this cap, and that would have been good for our team because it's still kind of close right now. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire my torpedoes. Got to make oh 4,800 points of damage, but incoming on the butt and bing bing. Oh crap! There it goes. There it reset the the counter on the A cap. So that means I'm not gonna actually be able to count to, to capture this base, even though I light them a fire. Oh my torpedoes though look like they're gonna go. Remember, don't sail in straight lines, Captain's crazy Ivans. But look at that. He is just blowing by those torpedoes, man. Full speed ahead. But oh, that was definitely a mistake. I should have just held up shop. 
behind that island there, maybe capped out. I mean, there's a lot of red coming into that, that center zone there, but even just another half a second pause. And, oh, I'm taking fire from, oh, the Galison here, the enemy gas is firing at me too, but oh, I light another fire on that Congo, sweet dad. Oh, bink, bink, bink. But oh, so that had been, been close because that had been really close in on all these ships right here. Oh, oh, ooh, a little exchanging of the mines right down there. Kernig for Kirov, Kirov for Kernig, so. All right, well. Anyway, I gotta, gotta do what I gotta do now. Shoot on this gasoline, who can be kinda nasty. I mean, it's 13, 14 kilometers away now. Nuremberg, oh, Nuremberg inbound. That is a better target. 11 kilometers and closing. Yes, yes, thank you very much. I will shoot at you all day long as opposed to the gas at range. And fire you on the Nuremberg. Boom, boom, oh, do a fire. But do a fire on the Nuremberg. Excellent. He is now burning in the front half, yeah, and he is now burning in the front <laughs> for three fires death by baguette i had swapped it to the ap because i was feeling the flow letting it ride hopefully for some citadel action and good night on the nuremberg and oh my goodness four overpins why wasn't that four black ribbons of love and a boom popped in the head nuremberg crap balls oh well no that's frustrating so anyway anyway Firing back on this gas, crap. He's probably got his little speed boost like I do. Oh, 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 incoming still from the Congo behind me. Now I gotta worry about that Congo. Try to take him down, but oh, 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 shit. I was gonna say, let's focus on this Nuremberg first, but our Iron Duke just duked him in the mouth and so put him out of our misery. Now I fire my, I sprayed a little short of that island and maybe expecting this Congo to come in tight around the island because I am kind of far away. He did see me sailing hot and fast away from him. So, but I want to, I do want to try to go back in and capture A because we are down on ships. We are down on points, down on luck at the moment. We need something to happen. Otherwise, this is going to chalk up as an L, but I ain't worried about that gas. And of course, Sky Cancer seeing me out before I could do something was Congo. Because I was also thinking maybe that Congo is going to cut it short and sail south of this island here, right where I'm aiming. But I don't see him yet. And if I don't see him in the next couple of seconds, I'm going to turn in and I'm going to head hard body towards that island and maybe catch this Congo acting a fool with some torpedoes. Because my starboard side is now reloaded in about five seconds. So only two torpedoes, but a fast reload because there's only two of them. So, yep. All right, here we go. We're going to turn hard in. I'm worried about that gas there. Now going to be on my starboard, on my port side. But, oh, uh, th th this Congo. This Congo is going to be nasty. And I think... I don't know where where is he at? He's he gonna keep going? Okay, Queen Elizabeth's down there, but oh, where is this Congo? He should have showed up by now. Where is he, man? He's a fast bugger, so he should be he should be moving. And unfortunately, my speed boost just puttered out, so I'm just kind of plodding along at around 30 clock 30 knots right now, which is not the greatest. And oh, I am detected there he is. Oh my goodness! Fire starboard set. We'll just fired on his shooting solution because he has not really crazy Ivan once since I've seen him. And boom. <laughs> oh, ow, ow. <laughs> Where'd my health go? Oh my goodness. That was uncalled for, Congo. Right through the face and only 900 points of damage into the superstructure with the high explosive shells. Come on, I really wanted to start a fire to bring out the damage control because I am counting on landing a couple of torpedoes on this guy, but it ain't happening. Uh, secondaries are opening up, so I swap up to the AP for a broadside target to boom, boom, 11,000 points of damage from my torpedoes, and I definitely took a big chunk out of him with the AP. I didn't see what the score was. I didn't come and go. <laughs> Count my lucky stars. Go pick seven numbers because I am feeling the luck right now. That full saddle just somehow missed me. Poor torpedoes locked and loaded. Fire. The high percentage shooting right here. This is what I'm talking about, Captains. I cannot miss. <laughs> Congo is down. Excellent. I threw some nice AP action into his superstructure as well for around six or seven thousand points of damage before I gave him the torpedoes at point blank range and popped two big old holes in his hull to send him to the bottom. But unfortunately, unfortunately, our Sky Cancer got done taken down by the Queen Elizabeth, who was still holding up shop right down there. So this ain't looking so hot. We are down on caps, down on ships. They still have a a CV hanging around who probably still has a couple of squadrons of, of torpedo bombers still. That's why I think he was torpedo mostly. But, oh, come on, come on. I need to get some damage and some fire on this Queen Elizabeth to try 
to soften her up maybe so our Byron can one shot her. We got to because I'm going to be heading in towards Cap. There's still the enemy cruiser that's engaging our Byron. And oh, the, oh, there's a Confederate. Oh, that's nice. But looks like this could be going up as a loss. Come on. Where's the fires? These things. Come on, Tinderbox. Where is the fires? Oh, this ain't looking so good. This ain't looking so good. I think the end is nigh, Captains. My torpedoes, of course, are locked and loaded again. I still haven't got a fire. Oh, and that, oh, there's some torpedo bombers coming in. Our Byron did take down the enemy cruiser, but CV versus Byron. Oh, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six torpedo bombers coming in. That Byron is gone. The game is over. Crap balls! <laughs> oh, do mad! Oh, tell too bad. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, game is over. Yep, there it goes. Woohoo, just took down the Byron. Tick tock, tick tock. Not enough time on the clock. I was hoping that Queen Elizabeth would swing back around and just throw herself onto those torpedoes. But, say la vie, the game is over. But we do finish with a respectable damage count of 145 and a half thousand points of damage after 212 shell strikes, four with torpedoes, three kills, eight fires, a couple floods, and a few secondary gunners that actually did their job. <laughs> four Confederate high caliber and a bunch of those little birthday medals. Death by Baguette, I know it's one. The other one was like money, and the other one was me just shaking my head for the bad captaincy and not capping that zone. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? <sighs> but we finish uh, tops of the charts. Oh, look at that with 1446 base experience points in the tier six loss. Wow, that probably would have translated into a nice 2000 plus, 2500 probably plus payday. Of course, it would have been nice so had I had a capture base capture point XP total integrated into that account. But oh well, sometimes captains, it just does not work. Other times. Captain Error. I am ashamed. <laughs> but in the detail report, you can check it out. 420 HE shells fired, 187 lander for 68,000 points of damage. Not a lot of AP going on, and that really is how I rolled in this thing. But look at those torpedoes. 16 launched, 4 landed for just under 39,000 torpedo damage. Not too bad. And after taxes with the premium account in the tier 6 match, 324,000 credits, which is the standard though, not too shabby, 183 in the tier 6 game, in the tier 6 La Galissonniere. Alright Captains, well that was my review of the French Navy's tier 6 cruiser La Galissonniere, aka the Gasoline. Now, like I said at the beginning, I did enjoy my time in this ship, even though she would rate around fifth on my favorite tier six cruiser slots of them all. And it's just basically because I do like the Cleveland a lot. And I really enjoyed the Bajani. And the Bajani is really a like for like comparison against the gasoline. And unfortunately, the Bajani has, like I said, two and a half times the frontal and bow armor on the Citadel than the gas. She's got the laser guns and the stock speed without having to utilize any kind of speed boost is the same as the gasolines with the speed boost. So, and while you do have the nine kilometer torpedoes, you only got two of them and your detection range was fully rot down is only 11.4. So, I mean, I don't know the, the, the laser rail guns of the Bajani, the armor of the Bajani and the speed of the Bajani stock just for me puts the Bajani well and truly above the gasoline. Even though the gasoline was fun. Had I run into this gasoline first out of all my cruisers, I probably would have really enjoyed this ship and spent a lot of time in her because she really resembles for me the, the tier seven Chateaus in that kind of game style because that Chateaus is definitely not armored at all. But like the gasoline lives and dies with her range, speed, and fire starting potential on those big ugly battleships. Well, Captains, I hope you all learned a little bit about how to, and of course, as always, how not to Captain the Galissonier. But in any case, I hope you all at least enjoyed the video. So as always, I thank you all for watching, and until next time, Captains, I will see you all in-game. Have fun. Fair seas.